Revelation 7, 15 and 16, he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger, never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. As we enter Christmas Eve, some of us may be filled with excitement and joy. Our kids may be glowing with expectancy as they eagerly await the opening of presents. We may be filled with anticipation as we prepare to gather around the dinner table and share a Christmas feast. However, some of us may be experiencing the opposite this Christmas. This past year may have brought us through some of the most difficult trials of our lives. We may have lost our jobs, so we don't have gifts to share with one another. We may have experienced the loss of a loved one and know that our Christmas meal will be incredibly bitter this year. Our Christmas cheer may feel like it has been stolen from us because of all this year has taken. But today, we want to offer you comfort in the midst of whatever fear, hurt, or worries you may be experiencing this Christmas Eve. Whether you are having an abundance or scarcity, the blessing of Christmas are for everyone. The good news and blessings brought by Jesus on the very first Christmas are still available for us today. Jesus did not disappear and leave us to experience the troubles of this world. He continues to be with us and provide for our need. He helps us when we experience the greatest difficulties of life. What Christ brought us so many years ago was not elimination of all the troubles and worries we experience in this world. He didn't say that life would be easier or that we would receive all that we want, but he did promise that we would never be alone and that our greatest needs would always be met. Yes, he gave us what we could not give ourselves and provided hope for a better future. He provided grace, peace, healing, and joy to us when we were surrounded in darkness. Jesus is lighting the way and provided a wondrous future we would all have one day, a future where we would never again be alone, where we would no longer feel the hungers of this world or thirst for something better. We may not see this come to pass in this life, but to those who have the hope of Christ, know that this life is not the only life we live. Through Jesus, we have hope that God has provided the best for us in this life and the next. Christmas is more than just giving or receiving material gifts, things that will eventually pass away. Christmas blessings are rooted in things that remain longer than any material things found in this world. Today, with your family, we encourage you to share more than just material gifts. We encourage you to share gifts that last past this day. Perhaps you can share your appreciation or love to your spouse, children, or loved ones in ways that you never have before. Maybe you can write a letter to someone you haven't seen in a long time or a loved one that isn't with you this Christmas and tell them how much you love and appreciate them. Maybe you can encourage 
one another and share some of your favorite things about your loved ones and recall some of your favorite memories with them. Maybe you can do something you've never done before, like cook a meal from scratch, make a card, or take care of the chores for your loved ones. Perhaps there is someone that needs the gift of forgiveness from you today. Someone you may have turned your back to a long time ago. Or maybe you can even share a gift of random act of kindness to someone you don't even know or someone who really needs it. Whatever gift you share today, we pray that it is rooted in the peace, love, and joy Jesus gave us so many years ago. Because God provides for us, let us abundantly give out of God's abundance. Let us pray. Jesus, today we remember you first as our greatest gift, because through you we receive the greatest things we would ever hope for, yes, things that we could not find in this world. God, we pray that you bless each person listening today. For those that are in need, for those that are hurting, and for those that are experiencing worry, we pray that you meet them wherever they may be. We pray that you give them comfort and peace for those experiencing challenges or obstacles in their lives. We ask that you bring your spirit and work in the, in the ways that only you can. For by the way in the wilderness and light in the darkness. For those that are experiencing many blessings today, we pray that you remind that all things come from you. We ask that you give us a heart like yours so that we may share in the blessings of Christmas. Jesus, we pray that your presence fills the homes of all that are watching and listening today so that uh, they may experience the greatest blessings you provided to us. Blessings of peace, hope, joy, and love. We thank you today and every day for who you are in the midst of our lives. Amen. I am Pastor A. Mendoza. And I'm Esther Mendoza. And this, and this is, is Home for, for Christmas. Christmas.